お前の心の悪を砕くマインドクラッシュ Hello and welcome to today's video and this is、uh, going to be a little bit different than the usual Well, it's still going to be a clusterfuck, but it's something not too many people can expect. So, we're playing, of course, the bamboo swords, the dangers, the zombie engine, the 60 card deck. But this is basically our win condition Judgment of the Pharaoh. Maybe half of our life points you can either prevent the opponent from summoning. At all, or activating any effects during the turn, or prevent the opponent from activating any spell cards or setting those during the turn. So basically, Judgment of the Pharaoh cuts the opponent out from one from half of the deck, basically, for the remainder of the turn. So,、uh, imagine flipping this during the standby phase or the draw phase and declaring no, you cannot normal summon, set, flip, summon, or normal summon any monsters, and any effect you activate is negated now. This is a win condition. Basically, skipping the opponent's turn. And we are using zombies to do it since we want a huge of friendship and unity in the graveyard. So, without further ado, let's get on with the duel. So, we're going to start by setting the judgment with the Pharaoh, summoning Solitaire, triggering it to E4 Unizombie. Nessie's effect will pitch Nessie, unfortunately. We'll get Mothman, activate Mothman, send the Cursed Bamboo Sword, get the Broken Bamboo Sword, activate the effect of Unizombie, get Mazuki into the grave, mill a few cards with our Chaos Ruler. Get some Curse Bamboo Swords going. Make Halky Firebreak. Summon Plug Spread Zombie. Make Unicorn for some reason. Make other stuff. Make Phoenix. Summon Wiper Buster. Make Griffin. Activate Griffin's effect. Get Judgment of Zero. This is the moment I should have activated Monster Reborn and Reborn the Unicorn. So I could get free draws next turn, but I digress. Since we have Griffin on the field, the opponent can just do his hero stuff, we don't care. He cannot destroy our monster, nor he can activate any effects, so. Do what you want. I don't care. And this is the moment I remember that hey, I can revive Unicorn. Activate the zombie's effect to send Mizuki, revive Solitaire, we don't actually care what we revive. Because we're making Cerberus, destroying the monster, summoning cards. However, due to Unit Zombie's effect, we can't attack with anything that's not a zombie. So we have to skip turn, the opponent summons Adoration again, summons the Cider, sets a card, and tries to attack. However, that's unsuccessful, and we draw not one, not two, but four cards this turn. So yeah, we activate Foolish Burger Go Good, send Yujo Friendship to the grave, make, make access code Toka, because we fucking can. Doing some、uh, stupid shite again. Access Code Talker will destroy Adoration and decide to activate call,、uh, Card Destruction. This, everything is fine. We'll activate Unity for good measure. We don't need it because we have game here. But in case he ha had something and wanted to have huge friendship, so we could just skip his next turn. So, on to the next one. Okay, so this、uh, this time we're starting with a pretty interesting hand. We're starting with Boogie Trap, which can pretty much set a trap from our graveyard back to the field. Danger Mothman, Foolish b u r i a l Goods, Solar Recharge, and Minerva, so we can have some milling capabilities. So, we're of course starting with the Solar Recharge, drawing two, sending Minerva milling two, getting Judgment of the Pharaoh in the grave. Foolish b u r i a l Goods will send the A huge old friendship to the grave. We'll activate Mothman. They use Boogie Trap, of course, to revive to get the Judgment of the Pharaoh. Do some more shit. Pass turn. Trigger Judgment of the Pharaoh in the standby phase. Now the opponent can normal summon monsters, so he just basically sets two and passes. 
we are going to use some dangers to get some shiz on the field. Nightmare Phoenix. Destroy a card. Send, send, get Collapse Serpent. The opponent will activate Mirror Wall, which we don't care about. We are now going to attack and pass turn. The opponent will not pay for the Mirror Wall. Summon Sapphire Pegasus. Now uh, this, this deck is as, as good as it can be. Considering. Okay, so now we're going to activate Charge of the Light Brigade, get the Raiden. Summon said Raiden, activate the effect, no more cards, get a wolf. And we're going to Synchro into Chaos Rula. Because why the fuck not? Get a Plug Spread Zombie. Get a Broken Bamboo Sword out of the Curse Bamboo Sword we sent to the graveyard. Use the Mizuki to revive Human Zombie. Send the Plug Spreader, boost summon levels. Make a Brawl Savage Dragon, because why the fuck not? Unfortunately, due to Yuna Zombie's effect, we cannot attack with anything that's not a zombie, so the opponent can just summon Ark for some reason. Once reborn on the Sapphire Pegasus, so he can recycle stuff again, and we don't have anything else we can do. We're just gonna go Mizuki, send a card uh, with Yuna Zombie. Do some more shiz. Summon Griffin. Get our general the Pharaoh back. And we cannot attack. However, we will prevent the opponent from summoning any more monsters. Again. The only downside of this is that we're on a very, very small life point count. So it is a double-edged sword, especially against something like an Amethyst Cat, which can attack directly. So one hit from that and we are gone. So we're just going to do, start swinging. A riveting gameplay, I know. Or if something like this happens. <laughs> and we lose to Crystal Abundance. I... I think that I can only say it. Crystal Beast best deck. Nashi, you're, you're right. Crystal Beast is the best deck. And the final duel of this episode, we're starting with Wolf. Rip. Generative of the Pharaoh, Golden Mabu Sword, Solar Recharge, and Danger Mothman. Fortunately, we have Solar Recharge, so we can get rid of this God Forsaken Beast. We're going to get a Charge the Light Brigade. Get some Bamboo Sword going. With some dangers, we're going to discard some Curse Bamboo Sword, get some Golden Bamboo Swords. Thankfully, Mothman does its thing. The opponent discards just desert, so we're against a burn deck, so we're going to send Unity to, to the grave, preventing the opponent from activating uh, any spells or traps or or setting those curious will send yujo friendship because he fucking can we're going to revive yuna zombie with our monster reborn make a mizuki uh, make a unicorn use mizuki griffin send the card get judgment of the pharaoh draw a card and now we're going to activate judgment of the pharaoh twice pay six thousand life points and the opponent has to skip turn I think that's a very neat little play, especially if we can actually follow it up with anything. But we will see. We're summoning amal uh, an amalgamation of nightmares, and we are swinging, and we win with 200 life points to spare. So yeah, that was the deck at its best. That was the peak of what this deck can do. Get two Judgment of the Pharaoh, flip those, the opponent has to skip their turn because they can't do shit, and we then just use Nightmares to finish the job. Anyway, let's go to the deck profile. So yeah, this this is the deck. We're playing Triple Judgment of the Pharaoh, one Unity and one Yujo Friendship. This is basically our win condition. Then is the Light Sworn Engine with Charge of the Light Brigade, Lumina, Solar Recharge, Minerva, 
Raidens and Wolves. I'm also playing the Chaos Dragon, Collapse Serpent and Wyvo Buster. Forge Burial Goods to send the Unity back to, to the graveyard. And Plug Spread Zombie because it's a recursive a tuner we can get with Hulk out. Shiranui, Solita, Unizombies, Mizukis, Cursed Bamboo Sword, Golden Bamboo Swords, and Broken Bamboo Sword, Card Destruction, Dangers, Monster Reborn, and Boogie Trap to recycle the Judgment of the Pharaoh. As for the extra, we're playing Double Curious, Chaos Ruler, Cyber Slash, Savage, Hockey Fine Break, Cerberus, Griffon, Phoenix, Unicorn. Why did I put. Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon in here. Uh, fortunately, the every Michael, Appaloosa, and Access Code Talker. Okay, let's. Live editing. Fuck it. I, I don't care anymore. I'm putting in level 8 sync. Uh, no, not level 8. Level 7. We're doing level 7s here. Mostly. Let's put in level 7. Boom, Arcanite Magician. Great. And Arcanite Magician. Yeah. That's that's the deck. I I hope you like that. It's it's weird. I'll see you in the next one. Check all hang out. Peace!